A man says he was injured in a crash and his car was badly damaged. You can see the pictures right here. He insists it wasn't his fault, but his lawyer won't even pursue it. That's because the other driver in this wreck was a police officer who would likely be protected from liability. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas explains. The smash car, the airbags, a bad day at 113th in Michigan. Aaron Travis doesn't need pictures to remember this crash from last August. A police car came out of nowhere, from out of nowhere, and hit, hit me and, and twist my car around. Um, with no lights on or nothing. A police report says a CPD officer was following another car, a quote, vehicle of interest, possibly involved in a shooting. The officer did not have his emergency equipment activated. He said he slowed his marked police cruiser and proceeded with caution as he crossed the street from this alley, but he claimed he was struck by Travis's car around 6 p.m. The officer also said he did not see Travis coming because parked cars and bushes blocked his view. When he popped up, he, boom, hit my car, turned it around, and made it go towards the alley. Travis's daughter took him to the hospital hours after the crash, around 1 a.m., and he was diagnosed with a chest contusion, leg contusion, and low back strain. He was already in a wheelchair due to prior medical issues, but Travis says injuries from the crash made it even harder for him to get around, and he's still recovering. I'm real limited now. His lawyer told him the city probably wouldn't pay for his car damage or medical bills. Saying something about they immune to the Lawsuit. Good advice. CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller agrees the case likely would not hold up in court because police officers are protected by a legal doctrine called tort immunity. That means to be held responsible, an officer would have to be willful in causing the property damage. Was this officer acting reasonably? Maybe not. Was he negligent? Probably. But was he acting with willful and wanton uh, thoughts? I don't think so. Miller says the point of the law is to protect taxpayers from repeatedly dishing out large sums of money. Through April of this year, CPD paid out just over $40,000 in a total of seven property damage claims. If this were you or I pulling out of that alley instead of a police car, would this guy be getting compensation, do you think? Uh, this guy would be getting paid either by you or your insurance company. It hurt right now, you know. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Miller, our lawyer there, says another reason for the law. Without it, people could be discouraged from becoming police officers in the first place, and they might be worried about possible judgments against them. The police report did not list who was at fault.